Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans have always been clamoring and champing at the bit. Spend high draft capital on the offensive line. Get those rookies in there. And the Vikings did just that last season with second round pick Ed Ingram. He played every single snap his rookie season after winning the starting job. And... Uh, notably stepping on Kirk Cousins' uh, foot three times, thrice, all, all, all that stuff. But Ed Ingram did get better towards the end of the season and looks to be a major part of the Vikings' offensive line going forward. Uh, so let's talk about the Vikings starting right guard today. Uh, background, 24 years young, six foot three, 307. Looked good in purple and gold back in the day. That's right. A former four-star recruit from DeSoto, Texas, uh, was a spot starter on the 2019 undefeated national champion team at LSU. Teammates with Justin Jefferson, connection. Uh, two-year full-time starter in Baton Rouge, uh, posted an 82.6 PFF uh, pass blocking grade in uh, 2021, uh, allowing only 11 pressures and two sacks and one penalty. Has played both right and left guard. Uh, scouting report-wise, uh, this is from LanceOrlineNFL.com. A guard prospect with up and down 2021 that muddies his evaluation to head into this year's draft. Ingram's run blocking is a notch below his pat- pass protection and might not uh, be an area where he improves enough as a pro. He lacks uh, prototypical girth, bend for leverage and power at the point of attack, and his motor to sustain blocks is inconsistent. However, teams with patchy pass protection along their interior could bump Ingram up their board due to his consistent work in protecting the pocket. Ingram's physical and, physical and play profiles are a bit mismatched, which could have him drifting between starter and backup during his career. Now, what's interesting about Ed Ingram last year is that if you're a Vikings fan, this is the complete opposite of uh, how he was as a starter last year, where he was horrible uh, in pass protection, to be honest, and he was very solid uh, in run blocking. Uh, but he won the job outright in training camp, uh, beat out Jesse Davis and Chris Reed for a starting right guard job after the Vikings selected him number 59 overall in the second round. And like we said, played every single snap. And pass blocking was the major issue last year, where he allowed 63 pressures, 11 sacks, which is both, both were worse than the NFL amongst qualified guards 42.6 pff pass blocking grade was no bueno uh, but he did end up with a 57 which is just slightly be- below average overall grade because of his run blocking like he was sublime uh in the run game so that's something that the vikings can build on the, the his perceived weakness coming in was run blocking and he was solid in that department and hopefully uh, they can settle him down and he can get into a nice groove and pass protection and the vikings I mean, they're banking on continuity, where Derrissaw, Ezra, Bradbury, Ed Ingram, Brian O'Neill, they completely ran it back, and they're banking on Ed Ingram to grow in year two. And hopefully uh, O'Neill will be back uh, healthy, ready to go week one, because I think that will be huge for his uh, progression as a right guard. Same thing with Garrett Bradbury and his back issues, hopefully uh, being ironed out. So I I do think that Ed Ingram can get his stuff together. Uh, I do think that he does have a solid anchor. I I think that he does uh, bring some nasty to the run game. And if he can get some of the mistakes uh, in the passing game ironed out, I think that he has a chance to be a very solid starting guard in the league uh, moving forward. And he's got to (laughs) be. We got to get this thing going, man. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Ed Ingram, big step forward for him in year two. Hopefully not on Kirk's foot. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more to work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.